welcome to another video. Um, Rosie is currently doing Khan Academy, which she normally gets 15 minutes off of, of before, nice. bed, before bath. But um, it's not that long off lunchtime when I got home from work. So I had some jobs I needed doing, so I was like, would you like double today, baby? If you behave, you can have it twice. So she's having it now instead. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of Khan Academy. Um, it's basically an app that encourages different things. Now, Rosie has minimum screen time <coughs> to sometimes none. And she's just sneezed all over my screen. Delightful. It might not work, Babby, because you've just sneezed on it. It might not work now. Yeah, it does. Today's video is a bit random. It's just some random moments from our week of different preschool activities that we've, we have done. Um, all our peas have been harvested now. Um... We only got one plant that didn't get attacked by snails that Super. gave us enough peas to, uh, just for her to munch on. Um, and just some activities we've done chest. this Put week, uh, including um, trying to prep Rosie for if something happened to me in the house, would she know what to do? So just an emergency situation so she knows what to do and stuff. So she now knows how to roll me into the recovery position. Um, although from a dead Super weight, I don't know duper. if she could do it. And um, if she can't work my other phone because she keeps holding the button too long, uh, she knows how to use Drive Messenger to ring someone if she in. can't get hold of the keypad to dial 999. So let's show you what we've been up to. Uh, we're doing a spot the difference, aren't we? Let me draw you a spot the difference. What else is different? We've got one, two, three, four. Ten differences, there's six left. Now we're going to be putting shoes on and going into town. It's the clown. It's, it's, and there are two clouds in my picture. They're not clouds. They're two, birds next to it. Two birds in both pictures. Are they? No. Uh, no, don't do that, Bab. I'm going to show you the picture. You don't need to see her picking her nose. I just quickly drew her this. And she's just crossing out the differences. But you don't need to see her picking her nose. Some peas off our pea plant for Rosie. And she's already eaten one. And come sit down with them, Bobby, so that you um you put them on your table. And to eat. So she can have her peas. I'm on a quick snail and slug hunt. We're going off to see Aladdin today at the cinema. Let me bubby bear. Yeah. My crab apple tree, the one on the right. From the uh, thingy. Something's eating our carrots though, and I'm trying to pick the peas when they're ready because slugs and snails are slowly destroying this. Rosie has a number square and she's learning to count in tens this morning. So can you go to the tens and count down the tens for me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 60. 70, 80, 90. Beautiful! Stop! Well done! And how high can you count yeah. now? Okay. I can go. How high can you go up to? 30, 40, 50, 60, <laughs> 70, 80, 40. Right, 50, we still need to work 60, on that, don't we? 70. But well done 50, on your 10s. 70. Uh, my rhythms help with her. Eat a tree, pen, rapid, oh, they'd be different. They'd, they'd be different in Welsh. And I'd need to find out 100 in Welsh. Me and Rosie have been practicing some emergency things this morning. Rosie is now doing some cutting practice. So all I've done is I've done 12 squares. Some scissor rules. So the scissor rules are only cut things you were given. Okay, don't go around cutting any old thing. Only cut things you were given. Leave the scissors closed when you're finished. So not open. Do not run with them. And if you're walking and travelling with them, you always hold them sharp points down. Okay. These ones. These ones. Yeah. So you always hold them with the sharp points pointing down. So what we've been doing this morning is, I watched, um, as you haven't watched yet, I watched Pee Who yesterday. And it made me a bit concerned that Rosie doesn't know what to do 
if I had a fall and she couldn't wake me up and I was seriously injured. So, <clears throat> Rosie has now been, I've because uh, I have two phones, um, I have my old iPhone and I have my other phone. My old iPhone I have now set up that she doesn't need my fingerprint, she doesn't need my thumbprint and my code is a simple 123456 and um, all she has to do is, it doesn't lock for four hours either. So if I open it first thing in the morning, if anything happens within the first four hours, she doesn't even have to put the code in. Thing is, she's she keeps pushing and holding the button, so she's never getting the keypad up or anything like that. So she's only ever getting Siri up. So what she's learned to do is, she's learned to ask Siri to open Messenger, look for Daddy's face, click on it, click on the camera icon, and she can ring Daddy. And if Daddy doesn't answer, she keeps going down all the faces she recognises until someone answers to say, what do you have to say, Babby? Mummy's fallen. Mummy's fallen. And she won't wake up. I can't wake up. That's it. And then someone will be down as quickly as possible to her. And then all we're going to do now, um, we're going to practice it a couple of times, and we're also going to, I'm also going to make sure that she knows what she's allowed to eat and where her snacks are and how she's allowed to access them. Because while someone else arrives, if she decides, no, have I given you that to cut? What was one of the scissor rules? Only cut what you're given. I haven't given you this to cut. Okay. If she decides she's hungry or she wants to do something, hopefully I haven't left something out like this for her to do like I had today, if it ever happened. And heaven forbid it ever happened, but just so that she knows what to do. Babby, only cut what you've been given to cut. I don't want to cut paper. Can you count all the squares? Nope. Don't want to do that. See, so, oh. preschoolers, willing to do one thing, not willing to do another thing. I want to cut the... You can cut the squares into smaller squares if you want. Can you double the amount of squares we have by cutting them all in half? Okay. If you're a very anxious mum and squeamish and stuff, don't don't watch it. Uh, it's a mother's worst nightmare. Mm. And the mother in it is very irresponsible. Uh. Heaven forbid it ever happen, but at least you know what to do. We'll practice it regularly so that she can know this is why she's dressed funny because i said what can you do if you she's rolled me into the recovery position daddy's on his way home what can she do now and i said you could be ready for daddy couldn't you You could get yourself some shoes and get yourself a jacket on so you're ready for when daddy gets home so that's what she's done and hopefully i could trust her not to start cutting my hair if i was on the floor if she did have scissors that's why I keep one of the rules is you only cut what you've been given. So you can cut those pieces of paper as small as you like and I'll get the hoover out afterwards. Okay, baby bear. Hi, welcome to the end of another video. Um, I know the last section seemed a bit kind of morbid, but um, honestly, it's, it's reassuring to know that your child would know what to do in an emergency situation. And seeing as Rosie keeps holding that button down, she's... She's not often going to get a keypad up for 999, but she does know that's her first port of call. Uh, she also knows to shout for the neighbours if she can't get hold of anyone on the phone as well. So um, before I wrap this video up, um, I thought I'd show you um, anyone who does want to get started with their children, but keep being told, oh, let them learn through play. Um, yeah, it is it is learn through play, mostly at this age. Um, how I started with Rosie was we just played Twister with our flashcards. Um we flashed through him first and then when she started to get old enough that she was walking about wriggling around and everything because we flashed cards really really early um so she knew her alphabet by the time she was about two anyway um we then put them on the floor and then go and put your hand, left hand on right hand on so she's learning lefts and rights as well um pen work control and stuff came a little bit later but i, I make my own sheets i'm just gonna turn this and show you so the gazetta curly cut is the easiest one to start with so she's got some practice, then she's got some words that begin with it. Um, the bottom bit, I sometimes I change out a bit. I sometimes I'll put like um, on the back. I've got circle all the because so she's got to find all the uppercase, lowercase. So she's just she'll either use a dabber and she'll dot them, or she'll circle them. 
uh, for numbers, I do things like, can you circle the octopus with the eight legs and eight will be the number we're tracing or something like that. Um, there's lots of different ideas out there and whatnot. You can make your own resources um, or if you're not particularly arty, you can print them out. I am going to figure out when we get a new laptop how to scan one into the computer and put links to them below. So if people have a laminator and they don't mind doing that side of it, but they don't want to draw anything, you can just print out and use what I have if you don't mind the um, homemade look. Uh, mine aren't professional looking. They are very handmade, homemade look. So uh, I hope this is helpful to anybody thinking about what they can do with their um, preschoolers. It's just some random stuff. Now it's the tar for me and the tar from the Rosie Bear.